Greetings all, Fanny here for the Water Signs Weekend Message. <laughs> the word that I have for you guys is just pride. Like, there is so much pride for you. The Cancers out there got the card of change. And there has been so much change going on. And being paired with... Uh, Scorpio's perception I'm I'm really just so proud of you guys for allowing yourself to change your perspective your perception or perspective on something it may have been something that was that was deeply rooted with the seven of Pentacles in reverse but it was either a deeply rooted idea or one that you knew was not as beneficial or as lucrative as it may have seemed. I'm so something that my brother has made me aware of because he's a bit of a plant dad, a bit of a plant dad is how often stores like Lowe's and Walmart will just glue the flowers onto the succulents. And that's sort of what it feels like with this seven of diamonds something that you would normally be looking over all the work that you've done and how it is blooming it was false and because you knew that somewhere did not it was not going to be beneficial for you to put your work in you did not you did not put your work into a place that someone wanted you to and instead you did something in and for yourself and this was a very deep like want and wish for you especially the Pisces out there with the solar plexus chakra this was magical this was just all magic being done in your life and it was because you did not you knew you were worth more than this falsity you knew you were worth more than this false reality and you are my love you you have done so much and i am i am just so incredibly proud of you four of diamonds in the reverse yeah you have faced a lot of onslaught and a lot of pain there have been a lot of people that said this is the only thing that you're ever gonna have so hang on to this and they, you were laid down with so much burden, with so much, so much so that you couldn't see things. All of that burden was laid down to keep you distracted, to keep you frustrated. And the most amazing thing is, is that you still dealt with it while deciding for yourself that, you know, you were like, no, this is important enough for me. This is important enough for me. The frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity, moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real and take a good, hard, deep look at it. Someone had tried to instill this idea into you that something was only a certain way. And you were like, hmm, let me see how strong those boundaries are. Let me see how firm that border is or... If I give it enough strength, will that threshold break? Will that mesh pop? Will it... <clears throat> it's, it's a very interesting imagery right now uh, going on in my head. It's like, um, there's like an acrylic wall. And in this wall is like a soft plastic. But if you had just ran against that plastic, it would not have bounced it would not have burst. There would have been an imprint, so like there's obviously an area of impact, but that initial hit is not enough to bust it. And so you had to hit it again and again in a weak spot, in multiple weak spots. And then finally something does burst through, something does make it out and oof, Sagittarius coming out for you, it lands. It lands with such an impact. <clears throat> Five of cups in the reverse of the bottom of the deck. There has been a very heavy challenge for you through this of 
am I worth doing this? Is this worth it? Because, like I said, there was an image, there was an idea, a framework that someone tried to set down for you for a very long time. Either this was the role you were brought up in in your family, or when you got married or got into a relationship, you were put into a certain kind of role. Because <clears throat> you didn't really know who you were with until after you were married. Because that happens a lot, my love. A lot of people don't show who they truly are until they have someone in a binding legal contract. And that's why so many of us are afraid to be in relationships or have tr mistrust with relationships. But truthfully, one thing that I have been working on learning and hearing about myself is how truly powerful you are when you are not making your life about everyone else or everything else. Because immediately when you get into a relationship, you're like, I want to do this to make them happy, and I want to do this to make them happy, and you kind of lose your autonomy. And that's what you need right now is your autonomy. Is Look at that. Look at the baby. Look at you. Sun card coming out, and my hand wants to... Queen of Diamonds. Nine of Diamonds. Look at how much you've earned and worked for it all by yourself. And I don't mean by yourself like you didn't do this without support. Because Spirit has always been here supporting you. But this, this cannot be... You were so devoted to yourself. You were so devoted to all of this. And you are you never gave it up and it delivered. Yeah, despite going through all of this hurt. Four of Swords, judgment. You were so devoted and focused on this. Thank you. Come back here, you. Because you were going through this change and you were like, yeah, this is fucking painful right now. I'm not exactly comfortable right now, but I've not been comfortable in where I've been. So if this pain is what it has to take to get through it, then let me survive it. Then let me survive it with everything that I need. Determination, purification. My, I am just in awe of you, my water signs. You truly have worked very hard for this. And... It is going to change how you feel about yourself, especially for the Pisces out there. The solar plexus being the the top of your base foundational chakras before you get to the heart is the root of where you see yourself in this world. That is where your ego comes in and your intuition speaks through. So if it has to go through a filter of self-doubt, then that intuition will start to sound like anxiety. But how you've learned to trust yourself how you've learned to carry through on that intuition, on those words when they say, you know, it wasn't in my plan today to go to the bookstore, but I'm gonna. And you find someone there that's really interested in trying to find a new story to turn into a TV show or a opportunity that would not have happened if you did not listen to yourself. And that requires you trusting yourself when that strange voice comes in. It's not you overthinking things. It's not you being crazy. That's spirit trying to talk to you. And you have to trust that <clears throat> you will not be led astray. Healing wounds came out in the reverse because this is still something that you are going to have to do. And healing will be a lifetime event. But you don't have to put on that defense so much. You are protected. And the more you speak to spirit and lean into their energy, the more they can work in your life to help bring out what it is that is upsetting you, to remove what it is that is hurting you. And all of these things are happening for you because you did not give up. Because you did not give in. And you certainly did not let yourself fall apart. I am so proud of you, my water signs. You did an incredible job. And you've done so much more than what other people could have done. Not with your burdens. Not with your struggles. You've done an incredible job. <clears throat>